All right, guys out there, YouTube, Jedi 270 from Airsoft RX in the Trophy House, Muhlenberg County. This is John J. Rambo 1's 1911. You saw him unbox last week. Uh, it arrived the other day. We've just been getting all the artwork set up. As you can see, it does not have its grips on it. Um, it's return spring. It's spring guide rod. I've been removed. Those are non-necessary items. Today... Miss Michelle gets her celebrity makeover. Okay. Now there's Rambo's box. Let's walk up here in the front of the shop. Now, if you've ever seen that movie Weird Science, Donnie did everything but hook up the doll. Mm -hmm. So Kelly LeBrock won't be in here. What we did was we took an outline on poster board of the gun itself, measured everything off from its flat size to its rollover. Imported that into the system, flip flopped it over, and then over here in the Ray Jet is a piece of styrofoam. This is a jig. This is basically what his pistol is going to sit down in when it goes in to get its etching. So we're close to getting it to a point to where it's going to be entirely different when he gets it. So I wanted just to lay this out for you, let you see the process. That way, you know when you send a gun to us to be done. This is what happens, so you're like inside the operating room, really. As that cuts out the shape of that gun that you saw on the screen, the gun will sit in there so it doesn't move and we get all the etching right where it needs to be. So the laser knows where to go and what to put what where, and then we just check for the depth and if it needs another pass to go deeper, and then we just go from there. But Michelle's about to be born, so and that's how it happens. So give us a shout, shoot me an email, jedi270 at gmail.com or thetrophyhouse, LLC, at yahoo.com. Let us know what you want. Um, Mike, Quentin, your plates are becoming up next. You guys fell in behind Rambo's gun, and that's like a major overhaul. This is your plates right here before they come out. What we've done is we took anodized plating, like we did with my M4 from, uh, from GMP. But if you'll notice in my video, this is before I discovered I could do this, mine are a little bit more shiny. They don't match the body of the gun as closely. The color's been changed. This is the same color that you saw shot on my WE Scar when we redid the uh, trademarks on it. So basically, this plate should come closer to matching your body as it came from GMP, so it'll be a much better product. And all of them will be laid out and etched individually and cut to fit your receiver. Thanks for watching, guys, and stand by for more. I hate when it does that.